So we'll start with the discussion. Questions which are related to time and work, where problems are narrated in such a way that all the persons are not going to work till the end. There is a variation in the time. So that's why I just treated this model as problems on time and work where time is different. Time or work done by the people is different. How can we tackle these questions? We'll try to understand. Let me project a very simple question, which is there on the screen. So if you can observe the question, A can do a piece of work by taking 60 days of time. He worked for six days, then B alone finishes the remaining work in 36 days. They together, the together can finish the work in how many days? They together can finish the work in how many days? So I'm just take, taking the question as like this. So please try to understand the data. Try to understand the data. A can do a piece of work in 60 days. So as I told you in the previous, anyways, all the questions of time and work are narrated or projected in such a way that where work is kept as constant. Because work value is not given, we are going to plug some number and we'll proceed with the solution. That's what we call it as a hidden plugin strategy. So A can do a work in 60 days. A can do a work in 60 days. So let's assume my total work done is going to be 60 units. Total work is going to be 60 units. As per the given story, he said that A can do this 60 units of work by taking 60 days of time. A can do 60 units of work by taking 60 days of time. That means he can finish, he can finish one unit in every one day. As per the narration of the story, he works for six days and then B alone finishes the remaining work in 36 days. If A works for six days, A works for six days, A works for six days. How many units of work he can finish? If A works for six days, he can able to finish six units of work. Out of the 60 units of work, six units of work is completed. So then try to understand what is the remaining work. So the remaining work will be 60 minus six. That's nothing but 54 units. As per the given story, B alone finishes the remaining 54 units in 36 days. That means we can say B finishes, B finished, B finished 54 units of work by taking 36 days of time. That means we can understand what is the efficiency of B. Efficiency is nothing but work done by time taken 54 by 36. That's the efficiency of B. So we can say this is going to be three by two units per days, three by two units per days. So now I'm able to understand A efficiency and B efficiency. The question here is they work together. How many, how many days it will take to complete the same? Work. So we are able to understand that A can finish one unit per one day. B can finish 1.5 units because three by two is nothing but 1.5, 1.5 units per one day. If A and B are working together, how much time is required to finish the same work? So if A and B and working together, they can able to finish one plus 1.5, 2.5 units per one day. To complete entire 60 units, how much time is required? 2.5 units in one day of time, then 60 units are completed in how many days? It is going to be 60 by 2.5, 60 by 5 by, 5 by 2. So five ones are five twos are 12 into two is giving the result as 24. We can mark the answer choice as option A. We can mark the answer choice as option A. So you can plug any number, my dear students. I'm plugging with the 60. 
you can plug any other any uh, any number make sure that it is giving integer values so that's a common multiplier of all so even if you plug with a different number you will get the same answer let's start with that so let's assume that my work is going to be 120 units i'm just assuming my work done is 120 units so as for the given narration of the story a can complete this entire 120 units of work by taking 60 days of time that means he can able to finish two units in every one day as per the data a works for six days a works for six days so a is able to finish two units in one day he works for six days he can able to finish 12 units 12 units of work 12 units of work is completed so what is the remaining work if you can observe 120 minus 12 that is nothing but 120 minus 12 that is 108 units of work is left over so as per the story which is narrated b completes the remaining 108 units of work 108 units of work by taking 36 days of time so what is the efficiency of b now so 108 divided by 36 108 divided by 36 so we can say the efficiency of this person is going to be 36 ones are 36 threes are 36 ones are 36 threes are. so b can finish three units in one day so as for the story that they two work together how many days is required to finish them so a can finish two units of work b can finish three units of work if a and b are working together they can able to finish five units of work in one day to finish entire 60 units it will take to finish entire 120 units it will take 120 by 5 120 by 5 that's nothing but 24 days you can mark it as option a so you can plug any number basically even you, you can plug 100 you will get the same answer but only the thing is take a plugin which is lcm of the numbers so that your calculation part is going to be easy so that your calculation part is going to be easy look at the next question which is available on the screen Please observe the question carefully. Try to answer the question. There is nothing different, nothing difficult. What you have to do is read the question carefully, read the question carefully and go in a organized pattern. Whatever is the given data, go in an organized pattern. You will be able to arrive the answer. A can do a piece of work in 15 days of time, which B alone can finish it in 30 days. Both together work for three days of time, then A leaves off. How many days B will take to finish the entire work? So let me take the data in a proper way. A can do a work by taking 15 days of time, B can do the same work by taking 30 days of time. As per the narration of the story, both together work for three days of time. So I don't know what is the total work done. Let's assume the total work, total work is going to be 30 units. 
A finishes 30 units in 15 days. That means he can finish 2 units in 1 day. B finishes 30 units in 30 days. That means he can finish 1 unit in 1 day. So as per the narration of the story, he said that as per the narration of the story, he said that both together work for 3 days. If A and B both are working together, how many units of work they can finish? They can finish 3 units of work in 1 day of time. As per the story, he said that they worked for 3 days. If they are working for 3 days of time, 3 units per 1 day, like that they are working for 3 days, that means how many units of work they can able to finish, 9 units of work they can able to finish. Then A leaves off. How many days will B will take to finish the remaining work, will finish the remaining work. So out of, out of 30 units, 9 units is over. So that means 30 minus 9, leftover is 21 units. Leftover is 21 units. So this 21 units are finished by B in how many days? So B is capable of finishing the 1 unit in every 1 day. To finish 21 units, he will take 21 days. He will take 21 days. So that should be the answer, checks. And if the question is, how many days will B take to finish the entire work? So what is the entire work? Entire work is 30 days. If 30 units are finished by, by B, then how many days it will take? So if 30 units are finished by B, B is finishing one unit per one day. To finish 30 units, he will take 30 days. To finish 30 units, he will take 30 days. Whatever is the given question, read the question carefully and answer the question. So actually, how many days B take to finish the entire work? So this 21 days is completed by B. And here, another three days, A and B are working for three days. So another three days is uh, done by B. Total time period B spent in the entire work is 24. So how many days B spent in finishing the work is? B spent 24 days, mark it as option B. I am repeating the question. A can finish a work by taking 15 days of time. B can finish the same work by taking 30 days of time. As per the story which is narrated, they work together for 3 days of time. So I don't know what is the total work done. I am taking the LCM of the numbers. LCM is 30. Let's assume total work is 30 units. A finishes 30 units in 15 days. That means he can finish 2 units in 1 day. B can finish 1 unit in 1 day. If A and B are working together, they can able to finish 3 units of work in 1 day of time. As per the story narrated, both together work for 3 days. If A and B are working for 3 days of time, so in 1 day they are capable of finishing 3 units. In 3 days of time they are able to finish 9 units of work. What is the leftover work? Leftover work is going to be 30 minus 9 that is equal to 21 units. As per the story which is given, as per the story which is given, after finishing 3 days of time, A leaves off how many days B take to finish the entire work. So this 21 units, basically B will finish 1 unit per 1 day. To finish 21 units, he will take 21 days. That is very clear. He will take 21 days. B will take a time of 21 days. How much of time B spent? B is actually, A and B are working for 3 days means B is actually working for 3 days here, 21 days here. So total time spent by B in finishing the work will be equal to 24 days. Mark your answer choice as equal to option B. Look at the next question available on the screen.
please observe the data pqr can do a work in 8 16 and 24 days respectively they start the work together but r leaves 2 days before the completion of the work in how many days is the work done we are able to understand that p can finish the work by taking 8 days of time q can finish the work by taking 16 days of time r can finish the work by taking 24 days of time which is clearly mentioned p can finish it in 8 days q can finish it in 16 days and r can finish it in 24 days r can finish it in 24 days that is clearly given do you know the work done we don't know the what is the total work done we will take the lcm of the available numbers so 8 16 and 24 what is a better number which is going in all tables so 8 16 and 24 if i take 48 units it's a better number going in 8 table and 16 table and 24 table so p can finish 48 units in 8 days that means he can finish 6 units in one day q can finish 48 units in 16 days that means he can finish 3 units in one day r can finish 48 units in 24 days that means he can finish 2 units in one day as per the data which is narrated they start the work together but r leaves 2 days before the completion of the work very important statement r leaves 2 days before the completion of the work how can we take this data so that means r was not there in the last 2 days right so that means last to two days who are working in last to two days last to two days only a p and q are working if p and q are working for two days of time what is p and q efficiency 6 and 3 that means they are able to finish nine units in one day if they are working for two days of time they can able to finish 18 units out of 48 units of work 18 units are completed by only p and q r r is not there so remaining is going to be remaining is going to be 30 units how many days the work done is a question that means remaining 30 units is finished by whom all the three so if all the three are working they are capable of finishing 11 units in one day to finish only 30 units of work how much time is required so the time taken will be 30 units divided by 11 work done by efficiency so 30 by 11 so 11 11 twos are 22 we left with 8 11 sevens are 8. so answer choice should be so 38 and 6 plus 3 2 days of time 18 units is over left over is 30 units so we are able to see 11 twos are 22 we left with 8 we left with 8 so 11 sevens are 77 so 2.7 something is the time taken by all the three all the three worked for 2.7 but p and q worked for two days so the total time taken to finish the entire work total time taken to finish the entire work will be 4.7 days of time you can mark your answer choices option e you can mark your answer choices as option b and another common sense point in solving the question what is a common sense point r leaves two days before the completion of the work that means two days of time r is not working only p and q are working again remaining work is finished by p q r so total what is the time total days to finish the entire work so p q r working and P, p and q are working p and q are itself is working for two days p q r will definitely work for some more days the total work done will be definitely more than two definitely more than two but is it is not very close to two eliminate these two this mark your answer as 4.7 this is common sense look at the next question available on the screen very simple question a can do a work in five days a can do a work by taking 5 days of time b can do the same work by taking 10 days of time by taking 10 days of time a and b are work together for 2 days what fraction of the work that is left okay 
So 5 and 10, what is the LCM of the numbers? LCM is going to be 10. Let's assume total work done is 10 units. A can finish 10 units in 5 days means they can able to finish 2 units in 1 day. B can finish the same 10 units in 10 days of time. That means he can able to finish 1 unit in amount of shape. Okay. So we just need to deal with efficiency whenever they are expecting us to find out the share of the person. So here also we are able to see A can capable of finishing a work by taking 40 days of time. B is able to finish the same work by taking 60 days of time. If A and B undertook a project for 500, find out the share of B is the question. So what is the LCM of 40 and 60? So LCM of these numbers is 120. Let's assume total work is 120 units. A is capable of finishing 120 units in 40 days. That means he can finish three units in one day. B is capable of finishing same 120 units of work by taking 60 days of time. That means he is able to finish two units in one day. So now as per the data, find out the share of B is the question. So now you can just observe here. You can just observe here. A is capable of finishing. A is capable of finishing three units in one day. B is capable of finishing. B is capable of finishing two units in one day. So that means efficiencies of A and B, efficiencies of A and B are in the ratio of three is two. That means amount also distributed in the same ratio. A amount also distributed in the same ratio. That means if both together will receive 5 rupees, then we have to give 3 rupees to A, 2 rupees to B. Here as per the data, they received total 500 rupees for the project. Find out the share of B. So B will receive two parts out of the total five parts into total amount of 500. That means B share will be equal to which is available as option B. Mark it as option B. No, no, basic to the mother bold young. Look at the next question available on the screen. The question is narrated in such a way that A can capable of finishing work by taking 20 days of time. B is capable of finishing work by taking 60 days of time. Then we have to give 3 rupees to A, 2 rupees to B. Here as per the data, they received total 500 rupees for the project. C can finish the same work. By taking 40 no. days of time. As per the story which is given, A, B, C are working together for a project at a rupees of 260. Find out the share of B. So let me understand what is the efficiencies of these three people. So 20, 30, and 60. What is the better number which is a common multiplier of this? So 120 is going to be LCM of these numbers. Let's assume total work is 120. A can finish 120 units in 20 days. That means he can finish 6 units in 1 day. B can finish 120 units in 30 days. That means he can finish 2 units in 1 day. C can finish 120 units in 40 days. That means he can finish 3 units in 1 day. The ratio of A and B and C is 6 is to 4 is to 3. So as per the data, they are asking us to find out the B share in the total amount is 260. So B share is how much? If you observe, B share is 4 rupees out of 6 plus 4 plus 3, that is 13 rupees. Into total amount 260. 13 ones are 13 twos are. So B will receive 80 rupees, which is available as option, option B and option 3 and option 4. So, but what is the share of C now? C will receive 3 parts out of 13 parts into 260. So, 13 ones are 13 twos are. So, C will receive 60 rupees. Mark it as option 4, eliminate option 3. Mark it as option 4, eliminate option 3. So, because C will get 60 rupees. Look at the next question. Similar data. A, B undertook a project for 1000. A can complete a task in 12 days. A can complete a task in 12 days of time. B can complete the same task in 18 days of time. Same work in 18 days of time. With the help of C, they finished in 6 days. That means A, B, C all together completed the work in 6 days. So C efficiency is not given. Let me find out. So find out the share of A is the question. Okay. So you can observe what is, what is 
12, 18 and 6 common. I am a me. 6. I am assuming total 36 units. 8 can finish 36 units in 12 days. Then we can finish 3 units. Yes, yes, yes. We are not going to go. 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 We